Hey friends, Jeff here with MissionMusician.com and today I want to talk about compression and specifically I want to show you how to set up a compressor the right way every time no matter what instrument and no matter what genre and it's actually pretty simple to do but you have to use your ears and I'm going to show you what to listen or explain to you what to listen for uh, when we're doing this so hopefully that'll help you out a little bit when i got started in mixing i had no idea what a compressor was it took me years to get comfortable uh using a compressor because i didn't know about this little trick so i'm hoping to shave years off your learning uh curve here today with this video all right so we're going to start off uh using it on a drum bus i have a mix here that literally has no plugins on it um, this is a delay carried over from a previous tutorial video and this is just a background vocal bus that's got some plugins left on it still all right so what i'm going to do is start with the stock compressor let me let you hear these drums first and i think i have to set up where we are here let's see let's go Let's just do a course here. Let me zoom in. All right. So let's listen to these. All right. So nothing spectacular. They don't sound bad. Uh, they definitely need EQ. Um, and they sound small and we're going to use compression to add some bigness and some life to these drums so i'm going to use a stock compressor here uh, there we go okay so how to set this up is we want to crush the crap out of these drums so we can hear what the compressor is doing and how to set the attack time all right so i'm going to turn the ratio up to around 20. i'm going to turn the release down to around 20 or so and i'm going to back off the attack to around one millisecond so i'm going to slow it down all right and then what i'm going to do is i'm going to turn the threshold knob down until I'm getting about 20 to 30 dB of gain reduction. Now, I'm not going to go over uh, what all these knobs do. Uh, I have a free tutorial course, um, and the link was at the beginning of this video, where you can get um, my free tutorial course on EQ, Compression, and Pro Tools. Uh, so I'm not going to go into depth here. I'm just going to show you how to set it up. Uh, if you want to go in more depth, go get that uh, tutorial bundle I go into great depth on what all these knobs do uh, today I'm just going to try to shoot a quick video to show you how to set it up uh, so you can uh, get your compression right on whatever instrument you want to compress all right so this is how I would set it up and then now I'm going to bring this threshold down and it's going to get quiet so I'm going to turn the makeup gain up for now but we'll have to readjust that later All right, so we're just killing it. So now I want to adjust the attack. Now that I can hear what the compressor is doing, I want to adjust the attack so I can hear the initial hit of the kick and of the snare come through. All right, so let's listen for that. All right, so it's starting to come through around there. Let's let's go a little bit faster. And it's getting fatter right there. Listen to the 
initial hit of the kick and of the snare. Now if we go too fast on the attack, we're going to start clamping down. And that's no good. On a room bus maybe, but not here. Let's back this back up. And let's find the sweet spot. Right there for me is the sweet spot. All right, so now we want to adjust the release so it's pumping in time with the drums. And let's try to find that spot. That feels really good right there. Okay, so now we want to adjust the ratio. And so the more ratio you have, the tinier something's going to uh, sound because you're really controlling the complete dynamics of it. We want to find the balance between making it sound big but still controlling the dynamics, okay? So... The benefit of the ratio is you can really control something. The downside is you can make it sound really small when you don't want to. So we're going to back this off probably somewhere between 2 and 4 to 1 ratio. But let's try to find the sweet spot. That sounds really good to me. All right, so now we're going to back the threshold off to try to find the right blend between compression here, or try to find the right blend of, of the gain reduction, I should say. So let's back this off. All right, so I'm getting maybe nine on the peak, somewhere around six uh, when it's just normally playing. Um, and that's still quite a bit of compression, uh, but I like the way it sounds. Now watch what happens when I bypass this. Uh, I'm going to play it, and then I'll bypass it. Hear that energy when I bypass this, it just goes away. Uh, the drums, we're getting um, some more uh, depth with our drums by creating some space by enhancing the overall drum sound that's got the overheads in the room in it. So that's making it feel a little bit more lively. So let's do that again. Let's listen again. We're adding some sustain to the snare. So that sounds really good. All right, so let's try this on one more example. Um, let's try this on an acoustic guitar, which is pretty hard to compress anyway. Um, that's not the one I want. I want this one. All right, so let's listen to this.
All right, so you can just look at the waveform and see it's kind of dynamic. Uh, I want to make sure every note is heard in this. So let's pull on the compressor here. And let's set it up. Remember, we're going to go to round 20 and then back the release down to round 20. And the attack, one millisecond or so. And then we're going to crank down on the threshold once we start playing. And I'm going to have to turn this gain up because it's going to get really, really quiet. And it's also going to sound distorted. So let's give this a go. Yeah, that sounds great. <laughs> All right, so let's adjust our attack to where the you can start hearing the pick on the strings and it's starting to poke through. All right, so it's starting to poke through right there. But let's see if we can get it better. Okay, so it's poking through, and I can hear every note that uh, the guitarist is playing. So let's set our release. And again, this is a pretty quick song, so probably not going to have to move this too much. All right, that feels pretty good. So let's back this down to decide how big we want to make uh, the acoustic while still controlling the dynamics. All right, let's uh, back this down a little bit, and I'm going to raise the threshold, and let's decide how much compression we actually want on here. All right, so that's somewhere in the neighborhood. It might be a little bit too much uh, compression. As a matter of fact, let me try to back this off a little bit. All right, that sounds pretty good. So let's listen to it, and then I'm going to bypass it. Right, so that sounds fuller. Um, it's not as dynamic. I can hear all the notes. And let's just try maybe one more thing here. Uh, let's try listening to the drums and the acoustic guitar. And then I'll, I don't know how this is going to work. Um, and then I'll bypass and bring these in. And we'll see if it sounds bigger and fuller and more contained.
Okay? So that is how you can set up compression right, no matter what instrument, piano, vocal, doesn't matter. Um, just a quick recap. Um, you know, you want to turn the ratio up to 20, the release down to 20, the attack to one millisecond, and then crank the threshold down to you're getting between 20 and 30 dB of gain reduction. Set the attack to the place where you like it, where it sounds right to you. Um, and then set the release to pump in time or to groove in time with the song. And then again, back the ratio down to decide how big you want the instrument and how much control you want over the dynamics. And then uh, back the threshold up to decide how much compression you want uh, on the instrument and then adjust the gain uh, to match the in. So that is it. Uh, I hope this is very helpful to, to you. As I said before, I go into more depth on this technique in my uh, free tutorial bundle. So if you want that, go grab it. Uh, Thanks for watching. Subscribe if you like these videos, and I will see you in another video real soon. Bye-bye.